Good evening, Kelly Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0, Day 24. Marty Miller coming to you from Houston, Texas, and continuing our series of videos on opportunities today. And this evening, we are going to talk about offers. So, the offer portion of opportunity is very important because it triggers several things. One, it allows us to um, move forward with the transaction, actually get it under contract and ultimately closed. And two, pretty soon we're gonna be able to get into the commissions tab and that's when we're going to be able to replace green sheets. So I can tell you that that uh, portion is being actively labbed right now and uh, that's pretty exciting to not have to go into a separate program to do green sheets here in the near future. So let me show you how to put in an offer. We're gonna go into our opportunity pipeline here. We're gonna pull up the test opportunity that we've been working on for a while now. And we are going to get into tab number three. So we've been spending a lot of time on the Documents tab. Now we're going to move over into the Offers tab. So when we click on the Offers tab, you'll see that it's blank. This is our offer timeline. There are no current offers for this deal. Let's say we're going to add a new offer. So I'm going to click on Add New Offer. It's going to say, what would you like to call this? So this is a listing opportunity. So I might call this Buyer, excuse me, let me, whoops, Add New Offer buyer offer and I might put the names of the buyers right just so it makes it easier for me to determine them if I get multiple offers or additional offers in the future so here's the version name it says buyer offer Mickey and Minnie Mouse uh, the offer came in today let's say that they want to um, let's just say it's a cash deal and I want to close by the end of the year so I can put in the offer date, the close date, and then I move on to the parties tab. So I'm gonna click on parties. You see it's progressing us through this process here at the top. So the buyer name, we said that that was Mickey and Minnie Mouse. And we would put in their email addresses and telephone number. And if we had facts, if we had address, we could put any of that stuff down here. Representation, associate's name. We want to make sure we put in the associate that is representing Mickey and Minnie. And we want to put in their email address as well. And that agent's phone number as well. On the right-hand side, you'll see it's our seller's information. Since this seller is already tied to one of our contacts, you can see all of the contacts information comes in and my information as the listing agent also comes in. I can fill in this last box with my phone number and then move on to the terms of the offer. So I'm gonna click on terms and it's gonna take me into the third portion of this process. So let's just say, I think we had this listed at 300,000. Let's say this is a $295,000 offer. They are not financing anything. If it was more of a down payment, then I could put Right, they financed 270. Whatever I put the ultimate sales price, this kind of calculates. But earlier we had said this was going to be cash, so let's zero that out and earnest money typically one percent. I can put one percent there, it'll calculate the earnest money. I can also just choose what the earnest money is. And let's say they want to do 3500, it calculates the percentage for me, so I can do either way. I can put in what the percentage is that they asked for or the actual earnest money amount. Uh, if you have option fee in your state, you can put in the option fee amount. We do have that here in Texas. Let's just say that's $250 option fee. Termination option, how long will they give? Um, so typically here in Texas, that might be anywhere from seven to 10 days. Let's just say it's a 10 day option period. Next, it's gonna ask about seller contributions. So it says seller will contribute X to a residential service contract. Let's say in this case, the buyers asked for a $600 contribution to a residential service contract and let's say they ask for $2,000 towards settlement costs, okay? Obviously you can change any of that as you go through this process. Finally, I have the opportunity to put in agent analysis. So this offer just came in, let me see. Pros, all cash, quick, close. Cons, less than list. And asking for two. Okay, and closing costs, summary, um, strong offer because it gets us closed before 2020. Um, so I can put whatever I need to put in here, all my pros listed, I can list all of my cons, and then I also have the summary. 
Once I complete that, I can click on save. So you can now see my offer has been put in. So I have 295,000. That's the offer. It is 100% cash. That's why there's no finance amount. You can see that it has the earnest amount listed. It shows the option fee, the close date, the amount of determination, and then it has in reviewing, that is the current status. So if I wanted to put in a second offer, I could do that. And let's just say this is Goofy. I don't know if Goofy has a last name. Let's just put Goofy in, right? That's his offer. And let's say he's gonna finance. He needs till the end of January to get his in. We're gonna put in the parties. And this is again, just kind of walking you through, but this is gonna be important tomorrow because I'm gonna show you some additional things that we can do tomorrow when we get more than one offer. One thing that I didn't check on that first one is whether they are pre-approved or pre-qualified. Um, obviously we know that pre-approved is typically a stronger buyer than a pre-qualified one is. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that Goofy is pre-approved. And we're gonna put in a new agent here. And on the right hand side, again, it's AAA seller. And we've got myself as the agent. We're gonna run through this again real quick. Let's say these terms though, again, we said he was financing. Uh, let's say he's putting 10% down and he's gonna give us a full list offer of 300,000. He's gonna put percentage 1% uh, down. He's gonna do $200 in option, but he's only gonna ask for seven days. He is asking for a home warranty of $600, but he's not asking for any settlement costs. So I'm gonna put in agent analysis, pros, full list offer, no closing costs asked for, con, um, take this us into January for the close date. Summary, definitely think we should consider it and yet the cash offer gets us closed quicker and there's no appraisal on a cash offer where this offer would have an appraisal associated with it right so these notes you'll see i'll have the ability and we'll talk about it a little bit more tomorrow but those notes i have the ability to send to my clients so tomorrow what we're going to do is we're going to take this step a little bit further uh, you can see here on the second offer, 300,000, 30 in cash, 270 finance, three grand in earnest, option fee, $200, the same information that we had there. So tomorrow what I'm gonna show you do is how we have the ability to update these offers if we are negotiating or countering. I'm gonna show you how we can compare these offers and then I'm gonna show you how we can actually change the status of the offer to reject one, accept the other, and then actually go back and undo that if we need to in the future. So tonight's video, basically just how to put in offers that you are receiving on your listing. You can also do this on a buyer opportunity. Obviously, if you're putting in offers uh, as the buyer and the buyer agent, you would do exactly the same process. You would just flip it. Instead of being the uh, seller or listing agent, you would be the buyer and buyer's agent. So more on offers tomorrow. And as always, I'll look forward to talking to you then. Thanks so much, guys.